Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is William Wang Wu, and I'm known as Waimo to my friends and family, and I'm from Myanmar. So before I start everything, I like to say that it's really good to be back, which I spent a lot of memories with my friends here, and thank you PSB for inviting me here today. So I joined PSB back in the mid of 2015, and I <coughs> attended the Bachelor of Information Technology, which is awarded by the University of Newcastle, Australia. And I graduated here from uh, mid 2017. So before I start continue any more deeper, I'd like to say why I choose this degree. So I have a huge passion in coding since I was in high school and at the same time, I also have a like, great interest in business as well. Because for me, no matter what our profession is, at the end of the day, we need to be aware of the fundamentals of the business management concepts in order to achieve financial freedom and to become our own boss. So whenever I search for courses offered by the university, I always pay close attention to the subjects they offer. So, and because I want to have a course that has balance between IT subjects and the business subjects. So one day when I was searching, I came across this program offered by the University of Newcastle, Australia. And I found out that 60% are core ID subjects and the other is the business subject, which is like exactly what I was looking for. So soon after I explain my parents about this program that I found out and I tell them why I would be a good fit for this program and uh, soon I enroll for it. And okay, so next, there is a word that I normally use to describe my university life to my friends and family. It would be extraordinary. This is because <clears throat> this two year in PSB Academy has been one of the best highlights of my life without a doubt. So I like to explain why I feel that way. So when I first reached here in Singapore, I was a new kid in town, I was quite scared. And I remember the exact moment I walked inside my class, I was very nervous as well. But then I was excited to see my friends, like my classmates from all over the world, but mostly Asia, from Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, so on. And, I, <coughs> and then I met my first lecturer and I had a great memory with that. And the first time I was in the, when I took my seat, my, I forgot to make my phone silent and my phone ring, and that is how my first ever university lecturer noticed me. So then the first lecture passed, and after the class, I remember approaching my lecturer, and I was very worried about how the exam will be like, so I approached and I asked him, I saw like how the exam is gonna be, but he was very kind enough to <clears throat> help me and explain to me what it's all about. So after a few weeks, I quickly became good friends with my all these classmates, and. The rest is history, you can say that. So basically, I was very glad that we all were like-minded, we all were adventurous, and whenever we have free time, we like to explore Singapore in every way. And most of the time of the class, we also play basketball, which is back in our old campus in Tiong Baru. And <clears throat> I met a lot of lecturers back in my days, but among all of them, I want to shout out to one of the lecturers who taught me programming, and this is Mr. Tan Han Ki. I'm not sure if he's still around, but if you're watching, sir, thank you everything. Thank you for everything. <clears throat> so I'd like to talk about my extracurricular experience in my uni. I enjoy playing the guitar, singing, and I basically love performing in a band. So as you can see the slides here, I quickly, after I settle in, I sign up for the music club. And uh, I quickly become a regular for it. Like these two years, I perform in several occasions and events like within university or outside university as well. One of the things I like the most about participating in this band is that like all the band members are from different countries and different backgrounds. So from time to time, we would even play our local songs and which is really good. And I also met a lot of beautiful people in this time and I still remain close friends with most of them until now. So this two year in PSB Academy was very, very extremely fast. So all of our, my classmates and including me, we were very sad that we have to part our ways already. Some remain in Singapore, some went back to their country, and some uh, further go overseas to extend their studies. I was among the group that chose to remain in Singapore, and some of my friends here are already looking for a job. But for me, I have this urge to further expand my knowledge. So I further pursue my master's degree in IT, um, majoring in uh, computing and networking for one more year. But my master's degree was mainly on research and theory. So everything that I, like my coding skill that I'm equipped with today is wherever I learned from my uh, bachelor degree. So back in my bachelor degree, I was just an, abo uh, just an above average student. I wasn't a very focused student. I'm just quite normal. 
but in my, the moment I start my master's, I would say that I become more focused and I was the top of my class and I graduated with an academic medal, academic medal for my high academic achievements. So after master's, once I was done with the graduation, which was back in December of 2018, I took a short break and while I was on my break, I start looking for jobs. Four weeks after uh, searching for my job, I was offered a job as a Donut software engineer for one of the Japanese multinational IT uh, company in Singapore that provides innovative solutions and infrastructure to promote safety, security, and to enhance the quality of life of the individuals and the community. So it was my very first ever uh, full-time job in a foreign land, so I was very, very scared. Like the night before my first day of job, I couldn't sleep, I was so scared because previously I heard a lot of stories about your boss pressuring you a lot, yeah, your colleagues not very being friendly and so on. So yeah, now, it's almost one year and two months already, and I would gladly say that I'm really glad I got offered in this company, and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. I had a great boss, and um, I have amazing colleagues, which I like. There are six people in my team right now. We soon like we quickly become good friends, and I'm really grateful for this. And um, about the projects that I'm working, um, so um, I work on two major projects. One of them is the Foreigner Work Pass System for the Ministry of Manpower. The another one is the access control system for the Ministry of Finance. Even though I had only been here for uh, a bit or like one year plus only, like I felt that I learned a lot here, a lot of interesting and exciting stuff, which is really fun. And for me, I'm really passionate about what I do. Like I'm, I really love coding. So every day going to work is like uh, new opportunities. I, I really enjoy it. And for me, I also think that it's very important that we love what we do. Otherwise, we have to force ourselves to go and we won't be unhappy. And um, <clears throat> because I'm a programmer, most of the time I fix a lot of bugs and errors as well. And for me, every error I fix is an opportunity for me because the more error I fix, is the more skillful I become and the more experience I have. And most of the time as well, I would stay after office hour just to like continue fixing my errors or just to see my, the programs that I have been working on is working well. Uh, because like we programmers, we love to see our program just working, running smoothly, and we really get frustrated it's not working, lah. so we normally stay behind. All right, no, so next, moving on. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, I'm really passionate about uh, performing. So I was really worried after I finished my uni and I started working that I might not get a chance to uh, perform again. But fortunately, I managed to reconnect with my old pals from the PSB Academy Music Club and we form a multinational band of consisting members from Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and Myanmar for me. And we call ourselves the other guys and we release our first ever original song, known as Queen of My Heart, in Spotify and Apple Music last November. And we are currently working on a um, new original as well to release in the near future. Uh, <clears throat> even though I'm a full-time software engineer, I try myself to like, fit in this musician routine to my uh, daily routine as well. Next, I'd like to talk about my goals. When it comes to goal, I divided my goals into two parts. Short-term goal, which are achievable within, within five to 10 years, or long-term goal, which are achievable within 15 to 20 years, and where these are like who I want to become and where I want to be in life. Since I was a teen, I was quite ambitious. I most of the time just end up pondering about my future. My long-term goal would be to have my own startup, a tech company that will provide innovative solutions to enterprises and business. And um, in order to achieve that, I set a few, uh, quite a few multiple short-term goals. Some of these are including to be a super IT expert in my field, what I'm doing, starting a family, and to save up, to save up enough to <clears throat> have my own properties, and uh, to achieve financial freedom, where I, don't, I no longer need to spend time and energy to work for money, but money will be working for me. But uh, over the past few years, I have de deviated a few times from my plan, due to the un unforeseen uh, and unexpected circumstances in life, but <clears throat> I'm trying my best not to impact my long-term goal. But because of this, consequently, my short-term plans have changed a few times, and I think it's more likely to change again in the near future, depending on what life brings next to me. So after sharing quite a lot about me, I'd like to give some piece of advice for all the youngsters who are waiting to embark their journey as a university student. You all may be anxious, scared, or excited. I get that because I have been there. 
being the only child, it was not easy for me to leave my beloved family to study abroad. But sometimes we just have to make some sort of sacrifices and uh, leave our comfort zone for the better good and uh, to let life play its part. Even though it has not been the greatest for me, but I'm grateful for how things have turned out for me so far. And I like to encourage all you guys to join the events and the activities held by the Claps and Society of PSB Academy. Because once we are in university life, this is the best time to like share memories, create mo new memories with our friends. Because once your university life is over, your friends who you share these beautiful memories with will be all over the world. Like they will be busy with their career and it will be very hard for you guys to meet with them. So this is the perfect chance. And also, if you start walking, you might not have the time to do what you really want to do. So what I want to say is that don't be the person who say, ah oh, man, I can't hang out today. I have assignments coming up. But be the person who say, sure, let's go. Where you want to go? I already done my assignments. So <clears throat> one of the most challenged for a student is that like, I face myself is on managing time effectively and efficiently. But trust me on this, you can do it. Just have to like, put some effort on it will be over. Uh, it will be okay. And one of the important thing is that never ever leave your assignments to the last minute. So after you guys started in university, I strongly encourage you guys to start thinking about your future as in what you guys want to do, where you want to be, your goals, and so on. Like I mentioned before, have a long-term vision. And in order to achieve your long-term vision, start by having multiple goals, short-term goals, and slowly reach there. And when you are defining your goals, make sure that you have backup plans as well. Because like <clears throat> in life, it may, not, it may not go as you plan it. So when it happens, you will be ready if you have backup. So in, to conclude again, it's an honor to be here to share my stories and to offer advice to you guys. And um, if you wish to know more about me, do visit my personal website, www.ymo.sg. Let me repeat again, www.wymo.sg. You can feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And um, thank you guys for listening. Stay at home safe and take care, guys.